Hi, I'm going to take a little look at the Android system on a tablet today and how we can use it for reading our chord charts and sheet music. So as promised, um, I recently made a video on how to use your iPad uh, using books for your digital music or your chord charts. Um, I did ask in that video and I've had loads and loads of requests for the Android version. So I'm going to try and do that for you today. Why use digital media? Well, rather than lugging heavy folders like this and balancing them on top of really wobbly music stands where, let's face it, accidents can happen, you can put it all onto a nice small tablet, use a foldable tablet stand, very similar to a music stand, um, but you're not lugging great big folders and great big heavy music stands around. The last video I looked specifically at an iPad today. I am going to look specifically at, well, it's a Samsung tablet, but it's running the Android system. So hopefully the apps that I'm going to show you um, will be very similar for lots of different tablets, the Lenovo ones, the Samsung ones, and many, many more. You've just seen a nice folding um, stand. It's the same one that I use for my iPad as well, but it works exactly the same for um, another tablet or something like this, a nice desk stand, which is what I'm going to be using today. I haven't used Android very much. Um, we started off with iPads and Apple many years ago in school because we like using GarageBand as a teaching tool. Um, so I can't say I'm an expert by any stretch on Android. It's been quite a steep learning curve having a little look this week for this video, um, but I'll do my best. Right, let's just get rid of these so I can see what I'm doing. So hopefully now you can actually see my tablet screen as well. Um, when I use an iPad, and I'm not going to refer back and forth to it too much, it's a very simple system using books. Um, things automatically go into your books. You're not worrying about where they're actually being stored. Probably the biggest learning curve for um, the Android system was the fact that you actually use the files system and the folder system within the internal storage. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Okay, but um, I've, I've gone searching for lots of different apps. I've looked at lots of them. I've watched quite a few videos as well. Um, so this is what I've discovered, first of all. And I'm sure if you're used to an Android um, tablet, you're actually already very aware of all of this. But if you're not, here it goes. So by swiping up on the main screen, I am looking for my file manager to start with. So I can see my file manager and hopefully now you can actually see if I click back on here for a second. There we go. That's normally the first page that opens up. And at the top, you can see main storage, U disk, which is your SD card. Again, that is one of the advantages I have found with using uh, this tablet. I'll talk more about that again in a second. Um, so U disk is your SD card and then personal space. Well, let's take a look at them. So first of all, um, main storage. If I click on that, you can see a big long list of folders. Most of those are the ones that just appear when you go into your file system. Okay, but if you look right at the very bottom, there are two ukulele chords, 2021 and ukulele, ukuleleans. I've added those. How do you add folders? This is really important actually, because it's all down to where you're storing things and is it organized? So how do I add a new folder? If I click in the top right corner, three little dots, new folder. Okay, I won't do that at the moment. I will do it later. All right, um, so most of those folders you're probably not going to use unless you use them for other things, but put your folders sensibly at the start and you can really organize your music. So ukulele chords, if we click on that, you can see straight away I've got four PDF files in there. I can look at them in the list fashion like this, but if I click on the little list at the top, I can also see 
slightly bigger so you know um more icons all right i like lists because i like alphabetical okay so going back that's one folder okay if i look in the ukulele ukuleleans that's only got one file in there at the minute it is a pdf i'm not going to click on it right now and there's a reason for that okay i just want to explain this filing system so that's your main folders on the internal storage that bit's important depends what tablet you've got depends on how much storage you've got within the tablet okay right if we click on uh, the main storage there that's the same so my device i'm clicking on this left hand folder now um my device has got all three main storage is what we've just looked at and then if we click uh, first advert of the day this is something that has driven me nuts um it's one of the reasons i'm not a massive android fan is the adverts right so uh if i click on U disk that is now taking me to the SD card, the micro SD card. All right, that is quite important, okay, because you can buy micro SD cards with much bigger storage. So if you're finding you're running out of room, it is quite feasible to store everything on your actual SD card. All right, there are other advantages which will come to shortly. So now if I click, if I just click on the Android one, you're going to see it's daily deals. <laughs> lovely loads today, more adverts. I might start fast forwarding through. So you can see data, you can see media. For now, they are not important for what we are doing. All right, don't start putting your music sheets into those folders, make new ones. Exactly the same process as the file system. If I want to put a new folder onto my SD card, I click in the top right hand corner. Let's do it, new folder. Uh, we'll rename it for now. Um, let's have a little look. Ukulele. Just music. All right, just so we know it's there. Okay. Click my little tick button. Job done. I've got a new folder. That will now appear when I'm searching for it later. There's nothing in it. Okay. No files, but the folder itself is there like the internal storage i click on the folder you will see advert you will see lots of files all right these are all ones that i've put on here already just to give an example all right again i'm not clicking on them for a moment okay um and we come back now why is the sd card so important you can transfer files quickly okay if i click on the uk tabs you will see another advert but after the advert you will see lots and lots of files how are there so many in there because i stuck the sd card into my main pc and literally copied my uk tab folder onto the SD card. Now that is one of the big advantages over the Apple um, tablets and the iPads, okay? Is that you can use this external storage in your um, tablet to transfer things if, like me, you keep lots of things on your PC. Exactly the same as the chord sheets. If I click on one of these, all right? First of all, actually, before I open it, if I just click on it once quickly, I ah, see straight away it's an open with you read it. We'll come to those in a minute. All right. But I can copy at the bottom of the screen now because I've selected this one folder. Sorry, this one file. I can copy, cut, delete, rename more, which is generally share to different places. Okay, so you've got lots of options. It's just a bit fiddly. Um, and I'm not going to lie, there's been a lot of swearing this week because I've been looking at things and I'm because I don't know the Android systems very well. I get quite frustrated exactly like anything else. The more you play with it, the more you click on it, the more you discover, the more you learn. 
So that's the main filing or storage system, um, both internal and the SD card. I'm not really planning on using this device very much for music. If I was, the way I would set it up is I would probably keep most of my chord sheets on the SD card, um, just because it makes life quite easy for transferring. Um, again, if you use a PC, you can actually organize it on the PC and then just copy them onto your SD card. All right. Um, possibly I may put some of them onto the internal storage, um, but that's the way I would do it. I would get myself organized at the beginning, set myself up with some folders, and then as you're getting your files, you can put them into the correct place. So there's my folders at the minute. If I just click on one of them, but they drive you nuts and there's always a closed place is different right so we're into the folder now you can see the files or the chord sheets there and you may or may not be able to see them it's very small they're all pdf files if you look at the end of the name you'll see dot pdf um i do go into this in quite a lot of detail how to do it in my ipad video um, but basically, if you're on a PC and you're not sure how to save a PDF and you're on um, your favorite website, all right, click on the print button. And when you click on print, it will give you an option to save as PDF. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to show you how to do it on the tablet. But it's the same principle. And if you're not sure, please do go and check it out on the iPad video. So we're looking for PDFs. Okay, so what I will do now is show you how to go and find um, PDFs or chord sheets on your tablet. Um, as I said, you can transfer back and forth very easily with an SD card in a device like this. But just like your iPad, it is also very simple to go and find them on the internet. So I'm just going online at the minute. I will jump to... Uh, my one one of my favourite uh, websites, Yuku Tabs. They've got a fantastic selection um, of songs on there. Uh, what should we look at today? Um, can't help falling in love. Number one. I've got it on my iPad, but I haven't actually got it on here. So I've clicked onto the page which has got the chord sheet on. This is where it gets a little bit trickier if i was on my ipad i could click the share button in the top and it would literally open in books job done it's over in books already it's not quite as straightforward on your tablet okay so i've checked everything it's all as it is all right i'm going to click on print my fat fingers there we go all right so it's coming up as save as pdf all right, that's so it means it can be read on electronic devices as well. Um, one thing I have been doing is it says paper size letter. Um, highly unlikely, but I may want to print it off at some point. So I'm actually going to save it as an A4 size. It makes no difference to the actual tablet. All right. Um, but it just means in the future, if I do want to print it off from here, it's the correct size for paper. I've also noticed, looking at this at the moment, where are we gone? There we go. Look, it's got two pages, but the second page, there's nothing on there that I need. So I'm just going to untick that. And there we go. And now, hopefully, I've only got the one page. All right. So clicking everything. Yeah, that's all right. Paper size yes orientation i'm just doing a quick quick check at the moment page one yeah i think that is good to go so now when i click on this little green pdf thing in the top right corner preparing preview and then hopefully it's going to give me the option to save rather than print okay so we've got can't help falling in love one little thing i'm going to change First of all, is I don't want that inverted comma at the beginning. 
just in case it messes with the titles. Also, where am I saving it to? Right, so I could save it straight into one of my folders on the internal storage, but I think if I go here, look, I can save it also onto my SD card. So you've got options where you're saving it from. Let's do what I said I was gonna do. Let's do it onto my SD card for a moment, or U disk. I'm gonna click on ukulele music. I'm gonna click on save. There we go. So that's saved that now onto my SD card. If I, I won't go through it all again, but if I wanted to, I could press print, save as PDF, and save it onto the internal storage. And just to give you one more example of how to do this, so this time I'm going to go to Jim's ukulele book, one of my other most favourite resources, thousands of songs on here, and with both sites you can transpose them as well, so you can change the keys of them. Uh, let's. Oh look, I did 99 red balloons for the iPad one, let's do it for this one as well. So I've clicked on red 99 red balloons, again, um, I don't, I can't just share and it goes straight over. I've either got to download it um, and then go into my download folder and move it to wherever or click this time on files, okay, at the top, create new PDF. Now, why am I doing that? To get rid of all that gubbins at the top, all right, all the, the different menus, the edit and info and help. I don't want that as my um, song sheet or chord sheet. So I'm just gonna click create new PDF. All right, so that's now creating, hopefully. All right, so that's now, it's taken away all of that other bits and pieces at the top. I'm gonna do the same as before. If I click in the top right-hand corner, I can send file to, but just to show you, the other way as well, print, all right. And it, you can see the same menu and you get used to doing this. So save as PDF, yes. Change, size, you may never do this. I'm just doing it for my own uh, benefit. Um, this time it is two pages, so I want both there. I'm gonna click on my PDF. And there we are, created. I don't want the word created, so I'm just gonna get rid of that because I want it to start with 99 red balloons. This time I don't want it to go onto my um, SD card. We did that last time, so I click on my menu, click on my Lenovo. Okay, I thought this was Samsung. There you are, shows how much I know, doesn't it? All right, so there's my Lenovo. I, this time let's put it into ukulele chords. Okay, 99 red balloons, save, that's in there. So now, if we go right the way back to what we were doing at the beginning, all right, go into my file manager this way. Look, you can see 99 red balloons has appeared in my device. And under ukulele music, can't help falling in love, has appeared on the SD card. So that's how you store your digital media or your chord sheets or your sheet music on your tablet. How do you read them? So again, referring um, to the iPad, I did that video using books because that app comes pre-installed. What I did want to do with this, again, was to keep it free. Right, so that's the filing system. Um, how do we read? Um, your chord sheets and your sheet music or the PDFs. Um, when I looked at the iPad, I was talking about books because it's an app that comes pre-installed on your iPad. Um, there, there is a PDF viewer, but I wanted something a little bit better than that on here. So I had a look at the app store. I was determined to keep it free. I wasn't overly impressed by the App Store. I was looking for something comparable to books. I did watch lots of videos on people talking about um, apps that were comparable with iBooks or books in your iPad. I, well, I'll show you a few anyway. So first of all, um, Xodo. 
okay now this is where the complicated bit happens on my ipad i press books everything opens up it's wonderful on here it's to do with all and they all work the same the app uses your file and your folder system so if we look at exodo to start with this is probably the best the reason I think it's the best is because you can actually write on it. Um, most of the apps you cannot write on. That was something that a few people mentioned in the comments of the iPad videos, the fact it's useful to write on. So let's just try and go back uh, folders for a minute. Nope. There you are, I'm still learning. See, system files. And then... Lenovo. Right. Okay. So menu on top left. Hopefully when you open it, this is what it will look like. You can see you've got a few options, images, recent downloads on your internal um, storage. Lenovo, which has got your folders and system files, your U disk, again, your SD cards and your drives. I'm not even looking at those today. So if I click on the Lenovo, you can see there's our folders from our filing system. OK, there we are. I can look at them like that. Um, I can go back. There's my ukuleleans one. OK, uh, so we stick with that for a second. If I open one of them up, let's go to our ukulele chords. Fly me to the moon. All right. Oh, handy. Look, there's some writing on there. OK, um, so by clicking on it, all the gubbins at the top uh, disappears and you can see it's a nice PDF. Always scroll across because there could be another page. Um, nearly all apps, whether it's on the iPad or on Android, give you the option of vertical or horizontal scrolling. I prefer horizontal. So there we go. That is our Fly Me to the Moon PDF. By clicking on it, it gives me options. All right. So uh, we've got our menu up there. We're not worried about that for a minute. We've got our share. The share is different. All right. Nearby share, I am assuming, is like AirDrop. In other words, you can share from one Android device to another. I haven't tested that. Save to drives, you can email it, you can Bluetooth it, um, or use any other apps. But you can't share it with another app that I have found on here. Okay. Um, the next little icon along, viewing mode. So there's your vertical scrolling or your horizontal scrolling. You can change the look of it. Uh, you can change the brightness of it. You can crop your pages. You can, um, in fact, do two pages going across. All right, I'm just going to keep it nice and straightforward for now. And then if we click on the next little icon, which is our square with a pen, we get at the top another little menu there's lots of things you can do on here so if i wanted to write um let's just write i'm gonna uh, try and there we go go in like that um oh, i've got very fat fingers today or maybe this is slow chorus <laughs> all right and then click tick for that and you can see i have managed to write on there yeah take a bit of time you do get used to writing on it um there is another app which i'll mention in a moment you can write in it and you can't undo so that that would be a big thing for me um i've just written this and i've realized i've written it in the wrong place uh if i actually there we go tap on what I've just written, it gives me options to edit it or delete it. Now, I was messing about with this earlier on, and um, that's when I wrote that start. And remember I mentioned on the iPad video, I put big ticks sometimes, because if I've got different versions of things, I will quickly chuck a, um, a big tick on there, and I can spot it when I'm looking for particular songs. But, if I click on it, I did that earlier, I could delete that. If I click on that one and I want to alter it, 
I could change the color. I can change um, the style of it. I can change the width of the actual there. I change it to orange. I can change it to purple. I can change it to light green. Okay. And when you finish doing that, you just click the little cross at the top. So in terms of being able to manipulate and write on things, I really do like this one. Oxodo, I think. I'm not sure. All right. But that, that's what I'm calling it anyway. All right. So lots of nice little options. And then I click on the little menu at the top. I can edit the pages. I can save a copy from one place to another. So say this is on your SD card and I wanted to save it onto my internal hard drive. I can do that using this menu. OK, so that's a little look at one of the apps, Exodo. Just to give you the idea that these apps all seem to be very similar. I'm not going to spend loads of time on it, but basically uh, I'm just looking down here at fast PDF. All right. This one, you can write on it as well, but you can't undo the writing. So I would have issues with that. So at the minute I've opened it up and it's it's gone to what's local on the emulated storage. But if I click in the top corner here and I believe it is file browser, there we go. You can see, look, it's all my folders from um, earlier on from the filing system. All right, it's, it's the same principle. Click on Ukulele Chords 2021. Um, there we go, open it up here. And look, there's the tick and the start. So that's on the PDF. I'd have to open it up in Oxodo to take those off. All right, but that just gives you an idea. I can go back. If I click up here on the file browser again, it does give me the choice of my SD card storage. And there we go. You can see the folders that I've put onto the SD card. All right. It's fiddly, but once you get your head around the filing system and the folders, they're fairly accessible. And it really then is down to which app you actually prefer reading from. Once you get into the PDFs themselves, you know, I've just clicked on our um, ukulele. And, but I knew it was too long since we've had an advert. All right, there's our school booklet. This one is a multi-page, so there we are. I can scroll across. All right, that's exactly the same. You can read multiple page PDFs on here as well, okay? And I'm sure most of you are aware by clicking the little back button at the bottom. No, we're not doing that in a minute. All right, you can go back through the pages um, to exit or to go back to your previous page. I looked at loads of different apps. I'm just going to show you two others very quickly to show you that they are the same principle. So my next one is the read error or era. OK, um, I quite like this one. It's just it opens up. I think it's the most recent ones that I looked at. But again, look, always top left corner for your menu. And then in this one, I believe is it collections? Ah, now then, this one is quite similar to iBooks and you can make your own collections within the app. However, I've just got to remember which one it is. So I'm looking for folders. Click on folders. There they all appear. Those are the folders from our file system. You're starting to get the hang of this. Click on our ukulele chords. And look, there's our 99 red balloons that we popped in there earlier. You can't write on this one. Some of them I think you can edit and it's basically a case of you've then got to open up Word, go into Word, write on things, save as. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother doing that. All right. But again, it's back to go onto your left menu and try and find which one it is. In this case, for read error or read error, it's your folders. And the last little app I'm going to look at today, e-reader Prestigio. All right. They're all free. Um, what really struck me with this one was initially I thought, oh, wow, looks like books because that's what the old iBooks used to look like with the nice wooden shelves. Um, so it's on recent at the minute. I want to open up my folder system again. So like all the others, click on the menu on the left hand side. And in fact, you can see, look, 
they're already down here it automatically opens up your folders in your collection so again another similarity with ibooks or books I can click on my ukulele chords there they go all right again I can look at them in that format or I can look at them as a list all right can you see the big tick that's why I often do that if I've got several versions it's a quick and easy way of um, knowing it and that's where it's important to be able to go back and erase it if you've got a new new version all right uh, let's I quite like the shelves just for a moment something different um, so again once you click on the actual um, chord chart they do all look pretty similar um, the big difference is I would say between the Android uh, so well you are that's one of the big differences you don't get adverts every few seconds um, but one of the big differences I've noticed is you were relying on the internal or the SD card storage on here the file systems you set up um, to work with all these apps where whereas on the iPad you're working directly with iBooks or books and it all just sort of um, organizes itself very easily and you're not worrying about where those PDFs are actually stored. So there we go. Um, I do hope this video has helped. I know they do end up being quite long. Um, this one I was hoping to keep short, but you know, I'm still learning where everything is on it as well but like everything else go and click on buttons that is by far the best way of learning how to use anything the android tablet look how thin that is is still a far better option than this okay i'm not going to give up on it i will keep looking and if i hear or read or anybody let me know of better apps that work with your tablet please feel free to let me know because I will um, do another one of these if I can find even more benefits. So this isn't turning into an Android versus iPad today. I purely wanted to make sure that anybody with an Android tablet at least had the first clue where to start in terms of your chord charts and music sheets. As always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.